Hello, this is David Hale of Tech Dive TV. This is Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today is episode 31 of Tech Dive TV Help Desk, and we're talking about video conferencing. Now, if you want a video conference as a personal thing, that's fine, but this is probably more geared to business. But either way, it's fine with me. Uh, we're going to talk about a video conferencing service that's absolutely free, and you can uh, conference with up to 10 people and it's run by one of the best tech companies out there, Google. It's called Google Hangouts. And all you need is a Google Plus account, which is absolutely free. And if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google Plus account. It's tied to your Gmail uh, ID and sign in. So we're going to take a look at how to use Google Hangouts. And so you not get bored and have me do it. We're going to turn it over to Sue Susie who's going to give you a lesson on how to use and set up Google Hangouts. Hey there, I'm Sue Susi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Hangouts. So whether you're using it for business or for pleasure, really such an awesome tool for being able to connect with people from all over the world. So I'm going to take you through step by step. I'll let you know what you need to get your Hangout going, first of all, how to set it all up, and exactly what to do. So what you probably want to do is just watch this video, maybe stop it from time to time, and actually follow along with me and implement as you go, so that way your Hangout will be up and running and ready to go as soon as this video is done. So uh, first of all, I want to let you know what you need as far as equipment goes. Let's keep it really simple here. Uh, first of all, you need a Google Plus account. If you don't have that yet, you want to go to plus.google.com. Takes you, you know, five minutes to set up. Doesn't cost anything. So you have to have a Google Plus account. And the people who are on your panel have to have a Google Google Plus account as well. So if you want people on camera on your Hangout, make sure they're set up with Google Plus. Uh, and then the next thing you need is a webcam. I'm just using a, the built-in iSight on my Mac. If you don't have a webcam yet, highly recommend Logitech. You can find lots of different ones under $100. They're great webcams. And then the other thing you need is headphones. I just use these, like the, the white headphones from my iPhone uh, work perfectly, but you have to make sure you've got headphones in. Otherwise, uh, the sound is going to feed back through your computer and it's going to echo and it's going to sound like a big mess. So make sure you've got headphones. So you need your Google Plus account, your webcam, and your headphones, and then you're ready to go. So here's what you want to do when you're ready to start your Hangout. Rather than uh, starting it right here from your profile page, you want to go to this direct link and trust me on this one this just makes things a lot easier so the site you want to go to is plus.google.com forward slash hangouts and then that's going to take you directly to the page where you start your hangout and then you go over here and click on the blue button where it says start hangout on air. Now, if this is your first hangout, you're gonna to have to install a plugin here, so make sure you do that. Uh, once that's done though, you won't have to do it again, okay? So just do that the first time. Then you want to name your hangout. I'll call it the Google Hangout Tutorial Video. And then start Hangout on air. Now, as you're doing this, as you click Start Hangout, uh, you're not broadcasting yet. So, uh, so don't worry about that. You've still got time before you're actually broadcasting live. This is going to look funny now. You see me on the Hangout and me in the corner, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, so, so what? So, a couple ways to do this. You can do a broadcast that people are going to see, and that's going to go out live on Google Plus. It's going to go out on YouTube, and you can also have it embedded in your blog. So, you can actually have of the Hangout playing from your blog, which is the coolest thing. Uh, I've done a video about that. You can just click on the link here and that'll take you over to uh, my other video where it actually shows you how to, how to embed it on the blog. It's pretty simple. I will show you how to get that link. Um, I do think that the links are the most important part of all of this. This is the part where people get confused and frustrated. So if you don't pay attention to any other part of this video, watch what I'm about to do here. Uh, the first link I'm going to show you is the link that you can use to invite people. Now in the window previously, you could see where you could invite, you can invite people through Google Plus on the opening window, but um, that's not the easiest way to do it. And it seems to be glitchy. So what I like to do is I like to take this link from up here. And so this is the link that shows up after you've hit start a hangout. And this is the direct link. This is the link where people can come and be on camera and be a part of the hangout. This isn't the one that you want to send people uh, to just watch. It's to actually participate in the hangout. So copy that link up here and then just paste that 
that. And you can send that out through Facebook, or through email, you know, however you like to contact people by text, and then that'll get them to the direct link for the Hangout. Uh, I will show you the other links here too. If you go, go down here to the bottom right and you click on this button that says links, the first one is your YouTube event page. So that's the link you want to grab for people who are just going to come and watch the Hangout, but they're not going to be on it. They're just going to watch. That is the event page here for YouTube, that first link. And then the second link is the video embed code. And that's the code that you're going to grab if you want to place it onto your own blog, which as I mentioned, I've got another video about that. So I won't go into all the details about that, but you do need to know where to get those links. So very important link up top here to invite people to be on the Hangout bottom right click on links and then you'll get the two other links you need uh, one for Facebook or for YouTube rather and then the other one to embed it on your blog okay so you might want to watch that part again that's a really important part with the links I'm uh, going to show you a couple other things you'll see some options let me just close these links here you'll see some options up top here those aren't always there sometimes you'll need to hover your mouse over top here the cursor and then these uh, items will come up these icons and really the most important ones here are your microphone and your camera and once in a while you'll you'll come on a hangout and your mic will be muted and you don't even realize it until people say we can't hear you we can't hear you so you'll need to go up here and make sure your microphone is on so click on the microphone if your camera's not on you'll you'll do that as well they should both kick in when you first start and then uh, this is for settings and volume and to add people um, and then this red one here is to end your hangout so that's the uh, the big stop button that you're gonna need uh, if you want to hang up Okay, so that's the top bar. Now over here on the left is a bunch of different apps. Um, I'll show you a few of them. This chat app, if you click on it, you'll see that it opens up a chat window over on the far right. Uh, that is so that people on the panel can chat, but this isn't where people watching can chat because they don't have access to this interface. So if you want to have people leaving comments um, and, and chatting uh, during your Hangout, you can either do that right on YouTube or on your blog which I'm telling you, if you get people to your own real estate online, to your own space, your own blog, that's ideal. You want people to be at your own stuff. So that's really the best place for people to be uh, communicating back and forth via, via uh, comments. All right, so let's just close that. The next one here is Screen Share. Awesome, awesome app. I actually have another video, I'll put that link here too, that shows you how to use the screen share feature. That's a bit long as well. Uh, I won't go through all of these. The, the one I wanna show you though is Hangout Toolbox. That allows you to get a name bar so that people can see who you are and maybe you want to give them a link to your Facebook page. Uh, I think I did a video about that too, but I'll just show you really quickly here. You just click this icon here at the top left. My name is in there already. I'm going to put the link to my Facebook page and then I'm going to turn it on and voila, I have a name name bar. You're going to see it backwards because you're seeing what I'm seeing right now, but when you're actually doing a hangout, uh, that's going to show up, show up the right way. And it's kind of cool, makes it look professional, right? But again, here, there's the link to, uh, to that video if you want to learn how to get your name bar on the bottom there. Um, and then there's a, a YouTube app here, which I've never had a very easy time working. I don't know if that, that one actually works yet. Hopefully it does. Um, and you can just work your way through these different apps and decide which ones you want to use for you. So one of the really cool things about Google Hangouts is that you can have unlimited viewers. So if you're sending people to your blog or to YouTube or they're watching through Google+, Plus, it's unlimited. And that's really cool. I used to do webinars years ago where you'd pay a lot of money and you'd have limited viewers. And I mean, really, there's nothing like Google Hangouts where you can actually do all this for free. It's pretty amazing. So I've taken you through everything that you need to get your Hangout up and running and going. The one thing you have to do now, once you're totally ready to go, is click on this Start Broadcast button. Um, I'm not actually going to do that, uh, but what happens is you get a little countdown. It says it's, it's loading or it's posting, and then within a few seconds you're going to hear a ding. And as soon as you hear that ding, you're on live, so it's showtime. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. My name is Sue Susi, and if you would like to find out how I make these videos, teach people stuff, share my passions, do blogging and videos, and hang out on Facebook, and actually get paid, uh, just click on the link below and learn more about what I got going on here. And if you do have any questions at all about Google Hangouts, I love this stuff. So happy to answer your questions, and you can just leave those in the comments section below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. My name is Sue Susi. Bye for now.